welcome to the Central Florida Gardening Show. To be more specific, right now we're asking to up organic matter. <laughs> Are you, dig are you digging to get the dill in? Yeah. Will this help it? The cakes? So it can grow yes. big? Yes. Okay. Do you like digging? Yeah. I think dill pickles. Dill pickles are good. We have some cucumbers over there. We can make dill pickles. Ooh, that's nice. Well, I would like them. Hey, you for the pepper. Who did? Hey, Dad. Oh, Judy, you've done a great job on this hole. I think it's almost ready for the dill. And this is one of my rocks. Spongy, spongy, spongy. This? Well, let's get the dill out of here. We got this beautiful starter deal from Urban Sunshine, from those geniuses, Mike and Keith. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, let's put this deal in. This has been started in a really nice environment at Urban Sunshine on Hanging Moss. <laughs> being troublesome coming out come oh, out oh, come out come out dill look at that root system it was holding on tight ah it looks beautiful this this um central florida sand is mixed with organic matter from our mm -hmm from our compost barrel. So it should be pretty good. Soil. Uh, it looks nice from down here. And this dill is going to be used with our pickling of our cucumbers. We're growing soyo cucumbers and lemon cucumbers. And I'll show you some of those later in this episode. We got a few of those cucumbers coming in except for the lemon. I don't have any lemon cucumbers coming in yet. I'm actually going to use this tomato cage. If you've ever grown dill, if you get it pretty big, this stuff will get seven or eight feet. It'll just keep on growing on you, really. So tomato cages are actually can be beneficial for dill. Based on my experience last year growing dill, it really got tall and eventually was falling over. And I had to support it with bamboo stakes. I was able to grow this dill into the summer, but when it gets really, really hot, dill doesn't really do real well. It does a little better in cooler weather. <coughs> I'm going to water the dill. Well, we're going to take this dill here and uh, once we get it once we get it to where well it's a little bigger than this probably you know a couple feet two or three feet we'll start picking from it and we'll use it with our cucumbers here wait, let me show you some of our cucumbers we have a couple variety we're growing right now this variety right here is the um, lemon cucumber and the the, le the lemon cucumbers are a type of cucumber that looks like an apple and they get uh, round and yellow uh, very few people have ever seen a, a lemon cucumber 
these are from some heirloom seeds that I obtained. So we don't have any, uh, unfortunately there's no lemon cucumbers to show you right now, but if you'll tune back into a future episode, I promise to show these lemon cucumbers. Uh, let me show you some CU cucumbers. Now these are CU cucumbers and uh, this is an Asian variety of cucumber. It's, uh, it's really kind of sort of a spiny cucumber. It's uh, best picked at you know between about 14 and 18 inches. Um, pick it when it's young. You don't want to let too many uh, really really mature plants or really mature cucumbers get really big on this vine or it'll tell the vine to to die. So you want to pick these pretty young. I wouldn't let them get over 15 inches or so. But these are really sweet and yummy. They're grown in, um, uh, originally they're from China, but they're also grown in a lot of countries in Asia. Really good with cooking like with stir fries or actually it's just they're awesome on salads. It's a really sweet, yummy cucumber. Um, as I noticed, the first one that I obtained from this plant, um, my wife Christy decided to eat the whole thing and I think I got one bite of it before it was devoured. So evidently they're pretty good. Let's look over here and have another one. Daddy, can and I you tell can you something? You can see some um, ones here. There's one on the bottom. I'm eating candy too. So there's a, there's one, you can see all these little spines all over it. And uh, they don't really leave, they don't really hurt when you pick them or anything, but they are, this is uh, just a, uh, this is just one of the, uh, the strange little thing about this particular variety of cucumber is it's, it's this spininess. You can actually just rub these spines off after you pick them. They don't really hurt. You can even rub them off now, but I just leave them because they're there for a reason. And it probably helps keep insects and other things off of it too. It makes it seem sort of almost like a cactus. I have another cucumber over here. This is a different variety called Bushmaster. But unfortunately, this cucumber has been infested with um, these little sap suckers. Uh, looks like most of them are dead. I sprayed these the other day with pyrethrins. And pyrethrins are pretty good at infestations of these little guys. They're almost like little aphids, but they're black. You can tell how much damage they did to the leaves. You see the leaves turning sort of a, a brownish. They're real dried out. If you look underneath, it actually even makes the leaves look like they're rotting. The ones, the ones that were really infested bad, it just totally killed the living matter inside of the plant. And it's one of those things you have to deal with when gardening is insect infestations. Luckily right now it's getting cooler here in Florida. It's just, this is 1st of November. And it's still nice and warm. Probably be in the 70s or even 80s today. But it's getting cooler. And these kind of plants grow, grow really well when they it's getting a little bit cooler here. They struggle in the summers here. They're so hot. Plus in the summers, the insect infestations on these cucumbers um, are pretty bad. Thanks for